in any business with uh, switching to Google Apps, I think your biggest challenge, and it's no different at this at Cadillac Fairview or my previous employer, the biggest challenge is really adoption. It's Google does things differently, and I mean they they do it differently from how you compose an email all the way up to how they roll out changes to the underlying platform. From an end user perspective, it's it's a new experience to them. Whether they were using Lotus Notes, uh, Exchange on Outlook, or anything like that. I mean, it was it, email was email. It kind of worked a certain way. There was no threaded conversations. That stuff is sort of switching in in that market. But I think the Google was kind of the driving force behind the adoption of that kind of thing. So, from an end user coming in, their biggest sort of it's it's jarring. It's an entirely new environment. It's not an application you load. It's it's in your web browser. It's very new. To, uh, to people who've been working in a certain way for a, a very long time. The flip side of that is the younger generation coming in, and the schools are, are, are great at this, especially when apps for education is free. The, the, the younger generation coming into a company, they pick this stuff up right away. There, there's no learning curve for them. They just jump right in. They already know what to do. On the other side, more towards IT and administration, I, f I find the IT crowd to be a bit of a, a sticky bunch when it comes to products like Google Apps. They have a hard time releasing a little bit of the control. They have a hard, they're, they're usually the last people to adopt things like Google Drive um, just because the, the, the IT industry is a lot, is very systematic and people do things the way that they do them because they've always done them that way. They do love their new technology but um, switching their practices is, is, is really tricky and getting that, I think the biggest challenge with IT people is the sort of rolling innovation that uh, Google does. Um, they have, the senior management always has a hard time understanding um, that Google does not have a five-year plan for features that they're going to release. They do not do twice a year patching uh, uh, service packs and stuff like that. They kind of, every couple weeks, new features come out. It, it's really difficult dealing with upper management because of the way that they, they like the waterfall kind of idea. So it, it, it takes some adjusting and getting used to um, for any uh, IT crowd and uh, the senior management for sure. Mm -hmm. So how, how have you guys managed the whole, with the management side like that, the rapid release, scheduled release, set up with new features when they come out? I guess my biggest piece of advice is never miss a roadmap session if Google's going to offer it to you. <laughs> It, I mean, nine out of ten times, they'll give you a hundred items, and uh, I'd say ninety of them probably slide a little bit from what they're actually telling you is the timeline. No, nothing against Google. It's the way they work. It takes a little bit of getting used to. You need to know what's coming down the pipe uh, from Google. Only experience is going to kind of get you to the point where you can really read which of the features Google's thinking about uh, are ones that are, you're actually going to see in the near future and which ones are actually going to take a decent amount of time. And then you have to sort of manage upwards with your internal management, just saying, you know, we're going to have to sit on this for a while and, and just stick it out, whereas uh, other times you can't actually, you, you can gain the confidence to say things like, well, this, this feature that Google's got is around the corner. Um, we, can, we can probably start thinking about switching to that kind of thing. It does take a, a little experience to kind of be able to read the roadmaps or interpret the roadmaps mm -hmm. to be able to deal with management. Uh, awesome. Thanks, Andy.